Hi, I'm John Gibbons. I am the undergraduate lab director for the Circuits Design Lab at Case Western Reserve University. We are working with the grape radio receiver that we are using in the HAMSI analysis of the WWV signals that we're receiving as a beacon as our test standard. The grape radio is a very simple radio. It's designed to receive WWV 2.5, 5, and 10 megahertz. In technical terms, it's a low IF radio, which just simply means we're mixing it with another frequency to generate a tone that we're measuring to look at the Doppler shift of the received signal from WWV. I'm excited that today we are introducing a new version of the Grape Radio, which I originally released in April of 2019, that has all the improvements that I've generated for the Grape 2 that's going to be coming out. The board itself is essentially the same form factor. It's a rather small board. It's not very big, but my philosophy in designing it was to keep it extremely simple so it's very easy to use. This radio is capable of now receiving WWV 2.5, 5, 10, and now 15 megahertz bands for analysis in our data collection. Now the Grape Radio was originally designed to be a very simple receiver. Uh, I tried to keep it as simple as possible. Simplicity in this case makes it much more versatile. Now that we've built one of these boards, you've built the first block of the complete system, which includes a Raspberry Pi 4 for the data processing, a USB-based sound card, and a Leo Bodnar GPS discipline oscillator as the frequency standard which we will be using to reference the signals that are coming in from WWV and to measure their Doppler shift, which is the whole goal of this particular experiment. If you are interested in getting involved with us on our scientific research here, you can go to www.hamsci.org and it explains where you can actually buy the PC boards for this. It has a parts list including the order links to DigiKey to get the parts. It's relatively simple to solder if you've done soldering before and this allows us to have more nodes and more people involved in this research effort. When you're also on the website it will have an image for the SD flash card that will run the Raspberry Pi 3 or 4 microcomputer that actually does the data collection and that image has all the software preloaded on it and pre-configured for your node that you will be running. Now when you get this all set up, you will be emailing me for a node number in the network and then you will be assigned it and then when you do the uploads, the database will know who you are just by your node number. Once you've accomplished all of that, you now have a complete data collection system which then can be used to support our research. I'm excited to have you as a new member of our community. We really do appreciate what you do for us and we're looking forward to having you become part of our community for this research effort. Thank you.